Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Top 5 video. Here we are today with... I'm Jackie from Show Me How to Win, but look, today I'm wearing the Unfiltered Gamer shirt. So I, mean, I guess part I'm... of the team yes. now, just for today. So if you want to learn how to win, go ahead and check out her channel. But today we're going to be doing a Top 5 for deception slash deduction games. So if you're ready, cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, so in general fashion with the Unfiltered Gamer channel, we're going to be doing the top five along with trying to deduce what our opponents top five, four, three, two, and one are. I doubt we'll get any of them right, but it'll be fun nonetheless. And including that, we're also going to be using our uh, Black Thumb Dice Towers. We'll be uh, rolling the dice here. I will be brown and you will be red. And whoever gets the higher roll will decide who gets to start. And I also have the, the first up for deduction. All right. Uh, so are you ready to go? Yes, but before we start, I deduce we will have one crossover. I am actually going to say that as well. One, yeah, just one. one. If, if, if one. Because her games are very different than mine, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> All right. You can go ahead and start it off. Roll the right, wheel see. of morality. We both got a one. Oh. That's, that's a tie. Go again. You got a five. You oh. Got a I think I'll go first. Okay, what game do I have? My number five is actually kind of a solo game. I play a solo. It's called Sherlock Holmes Consulting Dete oh, Detective. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan, and uh, I'm not necessarily a uh, single player game kind of, you know, person, but- Solo board games. With that, with that game, I kind of just want to play by myself. <laughs> I'd have you join, but I'd prefer to just play by myself. <laughs> Just this game, though. <laughs> because when you're playing that game with other people, it's just like, there's just too much, too many, too, too much noises. Like, everybody wants to do something different. It's like, you know, you're basically Sherlock trying to, well, actually, you're not Sherlock. You're like, you know, uh, this person trying to solve this uh, thing, and you're trying to be Sherlock. Yeah. So, um, so that game, I just kind of, I like, want to investigate whatever lead I want to investigate. I don't really want to <laughs> hear what other people have to say, <laughs> but then, but then if I if I fail, then I move on to the next. But when you play with a bunch of people, then oh, it's like should I try this? Oh, should we try that? It's like okay, where do we go first? So that that's a game I like to play and in solo mode. That's a fair 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 statement. I like that one. Mine, my number five. Can you guess what it is? Take a guess. You got to you won the roll. Number five. So not it's it's high, but it's not super high. Uh, Ultimate Werewolf? No. <laughs> However, that was a game I got married to, so that's a bonus right <gasps> oh, there. Oh, wow. However, my number five is a game you've never heard of, and that's because it's not currently in production, and it's called Forsaken Forest. It is a game like Werewolf as far as the strategy goes. However, it also has a board. You're going to be moving around the board, going oh. in different directions. You can go to any of the nine locations on the board, and if it turns out it's the void, the bad guys win. If, it gets, if you get to the town, the good guys win. The bad guys are going to be playing cards on their turn, just like everybody else, and trying to move your group closer to one of the destinations. And you're going to be able to have a navigator who looks at the destinations. You're going to have a card deck that lets you play one card a turn, along with a fast card on other people's turns. And uh, there's also a night phase, potentially, mm. and, a, and then the day phase. And uh, it has some interesting aspects where you don't instantly just die. You have the option to have people try and save you and whatnot. So it adds a lot of... Uh, variety to the game werewolf it's not just please don't kill me why because i'm good i swear no you're dead in this one you actually have some some semblance of what you can say you can argue and you also have the ability to have somebody else save you so for uh, forsaken forest it's not, i think it's on kickstarter currently if not it'll be on there shortly and i really really had a good time playing the game and i hope to get a copy myself so are all your games on your list not out yet no, the rest of them are... They're, the okay, because that, that was the one that I could not have guessed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I was close, though. Yeah, it was close. It's I very similar close. to Ultimate Werewolf. Very, very similar. All right. All right. You want to do number four? Here we go. I'm... I You're won. on fire. You are on I'll fire. I'll go first. All right. Do you want to guess what mine is? <sighs> you just picked Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. <laughs> it's that deduction. scares me. I will guess... The other ones are not so. I will guess solo. Blake's Gambit because it's a good game and I know it's probably not on our list. 
Is it like Scandit? No. Oh, it's a good game. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> My number four is actually kind of the opposite of um, solo games. It's Dixit. Oh, okay. You have to have other people to play with Dixit with. That's why she was talking to me about Dixit late, earlier. I'm oh, like, yeah. I, I love Dixit. I love the game. art. I love it compared to Mysterium, which I think might be on your list. But but compared to Mysterium, I prefer Dixit. This is kind of like a debate between uh, me and my friends. Like some like some prefer Dixit, some prefer uh, Mysterium. I personally prefer Dixit because I feel like uh, no matter whose turn it is, everyone is actively participating during each turn. And Mysterium was one person who's really yeah. never participating, right? Well, or like doing the most, and everybody else just trying to trying Catch to up. trying to like read their mind. So, Dixit, my number four. Good one, good one. Uh, mine is actually one that is out, and it's by USAopoly. Deduction, it's out by USAopoly? Yes. It was also a Kickstarter, and it's by, it's a theme of a movie, that's a horror movie. Uh, the only, the only ones I can think Leave of. Leave a comment now if you can think of what it is. Ah! Uh. The most recent game I played from that from that company is Thanos Rising. It's not that. No. <laughs> James Hudson has yet to send that to me. However, The Thing, oh. John Carpenter's movie, The Thing, by USA Apple, is a deduction game that is plays. It also has its own unique board, but it has a more resistancy feel to it, along with a bunch of other extra stuff. I also love. Uh, John Carpenter movies. I love the thing. I like the idea of uh, it could be anybody and you don't know, but it actually works with the, very, the game very thematically. It has some hiccups in it um, when you're playing with less players. However, if you play with the right number of players, about six or seven players, the game runs really well, but you have to like that deception slash deduction aspect, and you have to not mind being burned alive on the occasion even oh if you're a good goodness. guy. But yes, I do really, really like the thing. Um, it took me a while, and as I continued to play it, I enjoyed it more and more and more. So, there you go. The Thing. Mm, you really like that game. I do. I do. I know. Is, you don't like it? I like it. You played it? Yeah, I like it, but it's been a while. Yeah? Yeah. It, it's interesting. Like, you got the monsters. That you, you flip over the thing and see what happens. And I don't know. The game we played, I think it was a group of people, too. They were just so into it. Oh. We were like talking about the characters yeah. and stuff. I'm okay, you know. Oh, I... With that kind of game, those kind of games, you really have to play with the you right people. You have to have good people. Yeah. 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 All right, we're doing number three now. Yeah. You can go ahead and spin the wheel of morale. Okay, number three. Yep. Uh, let me see. Hey, it came out. Five. You still won yeah. again. And it jumped out. Um, I'll let you go first this time. Thank you very much. And your game, I'm going to guess, <sighs> Dark Moon. Because it's also another good game that she probably did not put on her I list. I thought about that, but I did not. It was shorter, I even, so I figured she I might be I even thought about uh, Battlestar, but I did not. I figured if you're going to pick one of the two, it would be probably Dark Moon because it's shorter. But I well, I personally sure. prefer Battlestar, but really? I... Yeah. Okay, so you don't mind the extra but I, bit of game. Yeah, but that was not number three. Mine is one you probably would never guess. However, it's a pretty old game with a second edition that you have to play with the second edition. You have to just throw away the first version of the game after you get the pieces you need with the second. And that is Room 25. Room 25 is basically the cube, the board game. Have you ever heard of the movie The Cube? It's the one where you move around. You move around in this, it's a structure, a cube-like structure. You're yeah. all in the middle and you're moving around yeah, the yeah. board. There's a traitor in there potentially, or there doesn't yeah. have to I be. I play that game. Yeah. And there's different rooms that you're going to be able to peek at and whatnot. You can push people into the rooms and have them potentially die, or you're going to be trying to collect this specific battery, come back, and, and get out to the exit. You need to escape it, basically. I guess that's a de deduction game. Yeah, you have to deduce not only if there's a traitor in your yeah, midst, but you have also to make where, it out. Yes, yeah, you also you have, have to, to deduce the path in which you need to go to get out. I mean, it's more deduction when you add the traitor, obviously, because yeah, you, you need know, to find out who the bad guy is. Because you're not allowed to communicate what the room is, right? You look at yeah. it, and then you kind of you can give facial expressions, but then yeah, yeah, I remember that game. You did play it, huh? Yeah, I did play it. All right, I know yeah. she's like, eh. No, eh. no, I played yeah. it. I played it. If you go to my Instagram, you know I have a picture of it. Nice. <laughs> it's all, you played the second edition or just the first? I don't know. Probably the first because I played at Game House, and they have like a collection of games you that have usually to play are the, the second edition. It comes with way more stuff. It's way more. It's like a smaller box. That's probably the first. Edition. Yes, the big yeah. the, the second edition is literally. 
all the contents in the first box, except it doesn't have the character boards. So you had to buy the first one. That's the trick. Oh. But it's this big. It comes with a bunch. I'll show you. It's amazing. It's like cards, right? You lay it out, and then you just like... It's yeah, like a grid, a grid and then you tiles, open yeah. it, and the only person who go in there can look at the card. Yeah, I played it. Yeah. yeah. I liked it when I played it. Yeah. Second edition, though. Get that one. All right. Okay. What, do you, what, what do you got? Uh, my number three is Deception. Murder Deception in Hong, Murder Hong Kong. Kong? Yeah. Excellent I, game. Yeah, I thought about... I was debating between Spyfall, uh, Deception, you know, like, just basically party... Um, deduction games and also I even thought about resistance I just I, I'm gonna just pick one for my number three because I do enjoy those games but I don't really want to a lot of mine have that theme in there yeah that's why I try to make them different in style yeah yeah traitor aspect. but resistance or uh, Avalon tend to like cause rift in friendships <laughs> it's mean. I think Deception does a better job yeah. because you're able to try and hide yourself fairly with other players. And then with more players, it comes with a couple classes yeah. or whatever. Yeah. They gave me the Undercover Allies uh, expansion, which was awesome of them. They gave me all the fun stuff to check it out. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I haven't played it with all the things, but... Plus, you can play game. a lot faster. Oh, yeah. It's quick. Yeah. Yeah. And with all the, with all the new stuff... It, it refreshes it a bit for me, so I definitely... Did you, you try know, the new stuff? Undercover I allies? played it once. Played it once. Uh, if you know me, I play most games just once, but <laughs> that's the game. That's, that game I have, I, I've actually played more than once because I do enjoy it. So, Deception, my number three. Ha! What? I got a two. Where's mine? Well, I think I guess ha! I won then. Four! Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna go for a new. I'm gonna go for it this time. Number yeah. two. That's right. Number two. Give me a hint. <sighs> Movement based. Is it letters from Whitechapel or Fury of Dracula? No and no, but you're close. <laughs> so many of them. Right. Yeah. Spectre Ops. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I like Fury of Dracula, but it requires a certain amount of players. It requires a certain type of player, and it's also a very long game. So you yeah. have to be willing to be able to sit down. And it's hard for a lot of my friends to do that. So I've only played it twice. I have the second edition and uh, love it, but because I, ha I haven't played that much, like. And once you catch them, you start to fight them. Yeah. That's the hard part. In Spectre Ops is a little of both. It's a quicker game, and it has the Letters of Whitechapel aspect. But you also get abilities. You get a couple smoke bombs. It functions very, very similar. We played Spectre Ops. It also has a traitor aspect in it. Mm. If you want, you don't have to play with it though. I, I don't know. think I don't, we played with it. I don't traitor. think you really need to, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but you, there's so much tension in that game. I am always nervous, and I'm like, okay, I have two more escapes, but after I use those, I still need to get two more locations and get back. Oh my, there's no way I can do it. There's no way. And then of course they're all sitting there like shaking their boats, like boots, like where is he? Yeah. Where is he? So you're both nervous throughout the entire game. It's a very stressful game. So if you don't like stress. Probably not the game. Do you for usually you. play the culprit, like the person who's trying to escape? I do. Yeah. I like playing that one the most. But I do like to play the other guys. It's just when I play the other guys, they get mad at me because I find out where they are. Like I have my wife playing as the bad. Humble guy. brag there. It's just this one <laughs> game. No, it's I like my wife literally will not play with me if I'm the, the, yeah. the good guy. She doesn't want to be the bad guy at least. No, because last two games she was just like, you found me. Not fair. <laughs> like how did you know? I'm like I don't know. It's, it's just deduction, I guess. Top five deductions, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Humble bragging 101. Yes. <laughs> okay. Number two. Let's see. No, this is number two. Your turn. Oh, my turn. That's right. My number two. We tied anyway, so Is an lucky. all Days of Wonder game. One of, I think that's probably one Small of Small world. No, I don't no think that's it's probably one of their uh, only deduction game. I'm pretty sure this uh, was put out by Days of Wonder. I don't know. I don't even know. Mystery what... of the Abbey. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Days that... of Wonder. I think it's Days of Wonder, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, we're a bunch of monks in this monastery. Yeah, and monks on the run. We, we woke up and this, one of us has died. So we basically walk around, interrogate each other. It's, you know, it's kind of like the old style of interrogation based game, like, you know, Slew and Clue. But this one is has... A little bit more to it, and uh, everybody hears the information. Um, so you have the sheet of paper to like make your deduction on. So. So you've got two similar games that I would that I really like there. I yeah, think. yeah. yeah. I'm good. going for pure deduction here, other than Dixit, I guess. Everything else is like pure deduction. Dixit is deduction. You have to deduce. Mm. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> 
It's storytelling and deduction. You yeah. do have to guess who the uh, what car is for the, the actor players, but everything else I'm going like straight deduction because this is one of my favorite genres. So, Mystery of the Abbey. If you haven't played, check it out. It's probably hard to find now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. Uh, you probably could find it if you wanted to. Yeah. It's not as bad as some games like Catacombs. Forget about it. All right. All I thought right. they reprinted that. Good choice. They might have. They did. If they did, I haven't seen it. They did. And Kickstarter. Five and a two. Mm. You're up. Uh, I will go second. You probably want me to go first because Ooh. this game has already been mentioned. Oh. This is one of mine. Is it Deception? Murder in Hong Kong. Yes. That is correct, yes. <laughs> deception Murder in Hong Kong is the hands-all, be-all, best deception game ever made. And the reason why, in my opinion, is because you have the ability to play as either side, as well as playing the forensic scientists, and they all have their own benefits. They're all very enjoyable and very, very different, yeah. too. And all of that, there's so many cards in the game, but it gives you reference. You don't just have to go, because I'm not bad. Or because, blah, blah, you actually have a reasonable argument to make to the entire group as to why you're not bad. Even though you definitely are bad and you know it. But you can still say no because this person has cyanide and a towel. Yeah. Don't blame me. I have poison and maybe a cloth or a shirt. But he is just as likely. And I, blah, 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 blah. You can go into that. Yeah, latch on to somebody, what someone said, like, right before to try to put blame on them. And then them. just because they know that I'm the bad guy doesn't necessarily know that what, what weapons and what, yeah. means I, yeah. what means and what clue I had. And so sometimes, at one point, there was only one guest left. And I'm like, hey, I am the bad guy. And you can't guess what it is. <laughs> Oh, it's nuts. And then they didn't guess. Oh, so good. So enjoyable. It's just a lot of fun. The game is really enjoyable. And the expansion does add a lot to yeah. it. It increases the amount of playability. Um, although I don't know if I really like the fact that the the forensic investigator will turn on you randomly. Yeah. I think that's a dumb thing. You can thing. always not play that Yeah. Area. Well, it's great. You can throw away whatever cards you don't want. They included yeah. a bunch of different country cards that kind of gives a little bit of diverse gaming, which is super cool. Hey, they even had American cards like hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff. I was like, oh, I'm digging it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but it was wonderfully done. I, I I haven't seen a single player, a person who has, when they think of a deception game, they don't think of deception, murder, and Hong Kong. Yeah. So, it's one. a good game. And it's super quick. All right. My number one is Alchemist. Ah, I've never played it. Never played it? No. <laughs> it's, a, um, it's a game that I think it was the probably one of the first games that you... Uh, that come with an app. So you are basically Alchemist trying to make potions. Is there still a bunch of game to it though, right? Like the yeah. app is a secondary thing. I like those kind of games. Yeah, well, you kind of need the app. You, you can have the app if you need it, but I want to be able to move pieces around too. Uh, no, you basically, you, okay, so the, the app basically, um, so you're trying to figure out what the in what ingredients together makes what. So okay. some are positive, some are negative, some are green, some are blue, some are red. And you have the same set of ingredients that so you're trying to deduce what's what. So a, a mushroom in your game, this game that you're playing, could be red positive. But in my game, it could be green negative okay. or something like that. And uh, if Does you have, have, to have their own phone then? Yeah. Oh, if you have the app, you download the app and then you scan it, it'll tell you, you make a guess, it'll tell you if you're right or wrong, if you're whatever, right? So um, you taste, you can taste the potion yourself by mixing two things and then you might get sick or you might oh, that's not. that's cool. Yeah. So basically it's worker placement, but with a Des big deduction, deduction component aspect, to it. Right? Yeah. And it incorporates an app. I guess so. I know the next game we play when she comes over. Yeah. I like, I think that's a, that's that. For me, it's one of the best games I ever played incorporating apps. It was one of the first. And uh, we still play a lot at my house. More um, than once, huh? Yeah, we still play a lot. I actually have the game on my shelf, so it's in the collection. That's saying a lot to, you know, if, if, if you know yours, me. Yeah. If you know me. <laughs> Maybe not so much me. I, I, don't, I don't know. These are all great <laughs> games, I promise. <laughs> so, yeah, Alchemist, one of the games that I really enjoy playing. My number one deduction game. All right, guys, that is our top five for uh, deception slash reduction aspects in games. I hope you will enjoy your time. If you got anything wrong or you think that uh, yeah. I think that our choices were incorrect, you can go ahead and let us know. You can be brutal if you want. Um, I, I can take it. And as well as checking out her channel, but we'll leave that for the outro. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching the Unfiltered Gamers, another top five video. 
And if you like the video, check out unfilteredgamer.com. And also, don't forget to go to YouTube and check out Show Me How to Win, my channel. As well as checking out all our giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and our artist list on the website. You can also find all of her content on Facebook and Twitter, as well as the Instagram that's going to give you helpful tips on how to win. Definitely do that. Check that out. And if you want any of the Kickstarter stuff, that is what I do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and check out our giveaway we're doing away currently on my site and on both of our Facebook pages for the Broken Token Organizer for the game Rising Sun. <laughs> you can go ahead and check that out on our site as well. I've got tons of good stuff. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, we look forward to seeing you next time.